Hello. A very warm welcome to Dodgers Trips. And today I'm going to take a hike. It's only about, about an hour and ten minutes, they said, on the, the map directions. Straight line. And I'm actually going to the town of Waterloo. The worst, worst day for the weather. It said it's pretty persistent all day, so I'm out. But the rain isn't heavy. It's only light at the moment, so we'll see how we go on. But uh, join me as I walk to Waterloo. Oh. Heading into the township of Waterloo. To the rain, torrential rain that we've been having in this region, same as the UK. Boggy fields. I had hoped to go to two, two sites today, but when I've looked up on the uh, internet this morning, the first one. Monsoon Jean Farm and farm buildings is closed on a Monday. It's only open Wednesday to Sunday, so I missed my chance. There's a very interesting looking museum because this was where the Duke of Wellington set up his field his field hospital and there were more than 6,000 casualties treated there. <coughs> It said that in the courtyard of the farm, in each corner was stacked high limbs that had been amputated. Housed within the, the farm buildings is a microbrewery, a distillery. It produces the Waterloo beer. I think they also do gin and, and whiskey. So I, I wouldn't have been interested in sort of seeing that side of things, but the, the museum showing the the hospital, the history of the sort of medicine in the British Army. That would have been quite interesting. But hey ho. We continue. We're going to be walking past the, the farm. So we're going to get a good view of it. I've just seen the beer bus to Waterloo, Waterloo. Beer of bravery. So this is the beginning of the, the farm complex, I believe. Waterloo, beer of bravery. Got its own advert on a double-decker bus. So here we are, the whitewashed walls of Mont Saint Jean farm. Looks like it's right by a busy roundabout. But this is the main Brussels Road, the N5 it's called. Ah, so here we are, voted Supreme Champion Brewer by the world's best beer judges. Waterloo Whiskey, Waterloo Gin, Scotch Ale, Waterloo Triple Blonde. But there we are, there's a drawing of the, the building, because we're right close up to it. Oh, here we are. The farm, Mont Saint Jean, the brasserie and the distillery, Waterloo 1815. And again, I love these arched entrances to the farms. I was in Brain La Lude the other day and I saw that the large church there in the town centre what I found out later is that the wounded were being were cared for there too advertising sandwiches who were cared there too and in fact they had to break the stained glass windows to get to get the stench out and get some fresh air in um, I wish I'd kind of known that as I was walking around but you can maybe see just a, a little bit of it here. I think that's that. This is all the exterior you see. So this wasn't involved in any fighting. 
but I think that's the that must be the entrance for the restaurant. So we continue down the N5 main road to Brussels. I did go to the uh, Maximus restaurant in the hotel last night just as a treat to myself the prices didn't look too bad on the menu so I went in oh I can tell you the, the food were absolutely amazing I mean I'm no connoisseur or knowledgeable about food but oh every mouthful uh, everything so I had a, a, a steak quite a large steak with a basket of iron basket of, of fries but the fries were done like I've never had before so that was brilliant now do I go left or oh, yeah, look left and uh, then there was some salad and the steak and the sauce and I, the bloke says well we've got this sauce, this sauce, this sauce and this sauce but not being a foodie I didn't really know what was what so I said you choose and whatever it, whatever it was <laughs> it was it was delicious and then for, for my dessert I had trio de sorbet and that was three flavours of sorbet sorbet and, and that was really nice and the way everything was presented was absolutely br brill while I was waiting for my food I was watching because I was sat where where the is it the, the pass where they pass the food over to the waiter and I saw some, so that big lorry go past and I did see some of the food that was getting passed out to other uh, patrons of the restaurant oh it looked fant fabulous meat like there was sort of three pieces of meat uh, hanging like a butcher's hut but it was like attached to the underneath of the plate and stood up and like was like hovering over the plate it was really unusual and then maybe it was a, a nod to where we were there was another one where it was like a skewer but it was done on a sword a metal sword that, that looked spectacular so I'm, I'm here just going past like a shopping centre here McDonald's Waterloo McDonald's now I'm not going to be going to that restaurant again it it came oh I got a pineapple juice too and it came to 30 36 euros so I don't know what's that 34 quid or something like that so a bit over the top for me pharmacy over there Big McDonald's. So I've I've got a mind that I'll go to this McDonald's for my tea tonight on the way back. Should be a lot cheaper than the restaurant, and that'll do me because this is my last day. There's also this thing over here, which I noticed when I was sort of Google Street Viewing the route here. And it's a professional driving simulation. So I'll show you that when we get closer. So yeah, this place here, Waterloo Restaurant Walk, but professional driving simulation, lounge bar and event, the place to race. So that must be upstairs. But I'm only showing that because my daughter's partner, he likes to do all these experience days, driving cars, driving motorbikes, quads, all that kind of thing. Very much into his motorsport. So, there's a signpost, Museum Wellington. Ah, I'm just passing through this sort of small shopping square, I guess. Not like you have a a look around Funeral of Waterloo Funerals of Waterloo 
Oh, I bet they wish they'd been in business 209 years ago. And the typical houses here. Across the road, traffic lights are red. Oh, thank you. I mean, Green man. Smash monkey. I don't know what that is. Oh, tattoos. Seen a few tattoo powers. Pharmacies, plenty of pharmacies about. And restaurants, of course. Just back there, an example of how well they behave at these zebra crossings because I stepped across thinking our oh, traffic lights were at red but that was facing the other direction there was a car coming from the left where he stopped for the zebra <coughs> so we just carry on we just carry on in a straight route all the way down until we get to the town of Waterloo itself the sign says it, says it all, doesn't it? Bonjour, Waterloo. I think I'd be a bit worried if I saw a donkey on a restaurant sign. Catalan restaurant. Bonjour, Waterloo again. So we're marching up the main street of Waterloo. See what type of shops we've got and it won't be so long before we see this museum. See what sort of shop bank. Travel agent. Lots of hairdressers, I noticed that. Manicure. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the town of Waterloo. There are so many towns, areas, buildings, all named after Waterloo. <coughs> and it all comes from that one day in June 1815. Oh. Well, the Wellington Museum used to, well it used to be, it was an inn when it was taken over. <coughs> Optician, another funeral parlour, funer, funerarium, a funerarium. A little shop over there called Scotch and, Scotch and Soda. Electric cigarettes. Plenty of laundry shop. <coughs> Clothes shop. Oh, comics. Makeup again. Salon. Beauty products, the little lady's close shop there, which is called Proximus. Ah, phones, phone chargers, mango. This, uh, I was getting to see a typical uh, small town, Belgium. See the shops, the people going about the business on a Monday morning. Hello. 
soup. It's there they do sandwich and soup. Eight euros. Finish fried chicken, bell chicken, Jacardi, Paris, Petit Bateau. How's my French get coming along? Palais de Fez. Pharmacy, again. Toilet sign. Oh no, toilet. Toilet. I thought it was toilet. I was around the uh, toilet. The bourgeoisie, bourgeoisie. Cine Wellington, so one love. That's what it's on like the Cine. Wellington in Waterloo. Sacre Coeurs, Institute of Sacre Coeurs. I wonder what that's all about. Right, we're here. I recognise those trees from when I was looking on the street view. And that's the big church, which is opposite the museum. So the museum is just here on the right hand side. Have a cafe lunch. Where the flags are at side. Museum Wellington. Yeah, tea time. <laughs> the Duke. Except <laughs> he wasn't dressed like that. Keeps are hearing aeroplanes going over. Must be on the flight path into Brussels Airport. But it's a grand looking church, isn't it? It's open. Wonder if we can film inside. So this is the headquarters of the Duke of Wellington, 1815. Look at those for some gates. I love a good courtyard. There we are. We shall go in. So that's the Waterloo Tourist Information Office. So this, this is a civic memorial signifying a wheat sheaf. The sheaf rises from a sown grain. This sculpture was created by the Waterloo artist Philippe Denis. It symbolises a wheat sheaf being reborn from the soils of Yissa and Lys, the sands of the Salonelles, Normandy, and the ashes of Dachau, all contained in different urns buried beneath it. It was inaugurated in Eglise Saint Joseph. The Chapel Royal was erected in 1690 according to the wishes of the Governor of Belgium, which was South Spanish Netherlands. So, for the last look there, Wellington Museum headquarters. in the town of Waterloo. A busy little town.
place over the road there called Edwards Cafe. Sharing food and drinks, cocktails, some of our mocktails. No prohibition here, it says. It's coming down the other side of the road. Look at this. How nice these places are. Yeah, there was a, a Ferrari parked at the side of the road. Very nice. Le Pain All Day Bakery. Le Pain, yeah. Bakery. Le Pain, that must be bakery. A bit patisserie. Patisserie. Graffiti library. Bookshop. The gra library graffiti. I keep seeing these little statuettes every, everywhere in the town. La Ronde, is that the circle, the round? Second hand vintage items. Notice a lot of cl shops close on a Monday. I wonder if Monday is their main day of rest for shop workers another beautiful looking shop and here's the Rambo the American brunch pastrami sandwich turkey BLT it's closed Oxfam shop I've got one of them. Hawaiian food. Hot balls, movie balls. From back walking towards the Wellington HQ Museum again. We're crossing, wait for the green man. And the St. Joseph Church again. And on the left, Duke of Wellington's general headquarters. There's a picture of how it had looked to before Wellington, when Waterloo was a village. See, it's all woodland opposite. So, completely different. The museum and the 1815 gates. There's that same engraving again. Yeah. <laughs> Savage Burger. Phone shop, cafe brunch. It looks busy in there. Nobody's sitting outside on the wet seat, so it has stopped raining, more or less. Here we've got Passage Wellington, you see, an arcade, Wellington Arcade. Across the road, Times Square. Now what's Times Square in Waterloo? Cinema Wellington again. Right, I think we'll leave it there. Oh. Okay, 
gonna cross over and just try down the back street, see what what things we can find over there. See if there's like a little sandwich place. So gonna cross the road here. We'll wait for Green Man again. Crossy Road, Bell Chicken, the finest fried chicken and more. Bell Chicken? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go in here. Come on. Bonjour. Bonjour. I've just got a uh, magnifique burger, large burger, fries, and Pepsi. Ten euros. About nine pound, yeah, to eat in standard price. Yeah, it looks nice on the picture. Right, well, this is what I've got a magnifique burger, Pepsi sauce for fries, crinkle cut, bell chicken salt, bell chicken. Tissue, I think. And ketchup. Well, it's better than McDonald's. Okay, it's fresh salad. Nice cheese just starting to melt. And burger. Yeah, that's nice. I haven't had eaten anything this morning. And one cup of coffee. Sauce. Sauce for the fries. Like, uh, the mayonnaise. Use, you know, use it as a dip. Mm. Yeah. Solid cream. This it looks like real meat, not like McDonald's. Well, say bye, and I'll see you back out on the street. Thank you.